Hello, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to tell you why is the MQ-9 most dangerous military drone on Earth. With the advancement of technology, warfare has also evolved. Among the many technological advancements in the military, one that stands out as the most dangerous is the MQ-9 drone. This unmanned aerial vehicle, also known as the Reaper, has been a game-changer in modern warfare. Equipped with state-of-the-art technology and deadly firepower, the MQ-9 has proven to be a formidable weapon on the battlefield. The Evolution of Warfare How Drones Became Vital Assets The evolution of warfare stems from the pursuit of technological superiority. Drones have revolutionized modern warfare, offering real-time intelligence, precise airstrikes, and reduced risks to human life. Equipped with high-tech sensors, drones provide crucial data to commanders without risking human operatives. Their ability to hover over targets enables surgical strikes, minimizing collateral damage. Notably, the use of drones has significantly lowered casualties, altering the dynamics of combat. Their versatility, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness have cemented their position as indispensable military assets. With advancing technology, drones are poised to play an even more pivotal role in future warfare. What is the MQ-9 Reaper? The MQ-9 Reaper is developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, primarily for the United States Air Force, but also used by other countries, such as the United Kingdom, Italy, France, and Australia. It is a larger, heavier, and more capable version of the earlier MQ-1 Predator drone, which was mainly used for reconnaissance and surveillance. The Reaper has a wingspan of 66 feet, 20 meters, a length of 36 feet, 11 meters, and a height of 12 feet, 3.6 meters. It can fly a maximum speed of 300 miles per hour, 482 kilometers per hour, and at an altitude of up to 50,000 feet, 15,240 meters. It has a range of 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, and an endurance of up to 27 hours. What are the features of the MQ-9 Reaper? The Reaper is equipped with a powerful turboprop engine that allows it to carry up to 3,800 pounds, 1,724 kilograms of payload, including various sensors and weapons. The Reaper's main sensor is the multi-spectral targeting system, which integrates an infrared sensor, a color and monochrome daylight TV camera, a shortwave infrared camera, a laser designator, and a laser illuminator. This system provides full motion video from each of the imaging sensors, which can be viewed as separate video streams or fused together. The system also incorporates a laser rangefinder slash designator, which precisely designates targets for employment of laser-guided munitions. The Reaper also carries a synthetic aperture radar, which can provide high-resolution imagery of stationary or movie targets in all weather conditions. What are the weapons of the MQ-9 Reaper? The Reaper's main advantage over other UAVs is its ability to carry and employ a variety of weapons, making it a true hunter-killer drone. The Reaper can carry up to eight AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, which are highly accurate, low collateral damage, anti-armor, and anti-personnel weapons. The Hellfire missile can hit targets up to 5 miles, 8 kilometers, away, and has a warhead that can penetrate up to 3 feet, 0.9 meters, of steel armor. The Reaper can also carry up to four GBU-12 Paveway Aya laser-guided bombs, which are 500-pound, 227-kilogram bombs that can destroy hardened targets such as bunkers or bridges. The Reaper can also carry other types of munitions, such as the GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM, which is a GPS-guided bomb, the GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb, SDB, which is a low collateral damage bomb, and the AGM-176 Griffin missile, which is a lightweight air-to-surface missile. How is the MQ-9 Reaper operated? The Reaper is operated by a crew of two, a pilot and a sensor operator. The pilot controls the aircraft and commands the mission from a ground control station, GCS, while the sensor operator operates the sensors and guides the weapons from another GCS. The crew communicates with each other through voice and data links, the Reaper can also be controlled by satellite link from anywhere in the world. The Reaper has an advanced data link system that allows it to share information with other platforms, such as other UAVs, manned aircraft, ground forces, or command centers. This enables better situational awareness and coordination among different units. 
How is the MQ-9 Reaper used in combat? The Reaper has been used extensively in various conflicts around the world since its introduction in 2007. It has been deployed in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, Niger, Mali, Pakistan, and other countries where it has conducted intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, close air support, CAS, combat search and rescue, CSAR, precision strike, PS, convoy and raid overwatch, CRO, route clearance, RC, target development, TD, and terminal air guidance, TAG missions. The Reaper has proven to be very effective in eliminating high-value targets such as terrorist leaders or insurgents. For example, in 2011, a Reaper killed Anwar al-Awlaki, an American-born cleric and al-Qaeda leader in Yemen. In 2019, a Reaper killed Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of the Islamic State in Syria. The Reaper has also been used to support humanitarian operations, such as delivering aid or evacuating civilians. What are the challenges and controversies of the MQ-9 Reaper? However, the Reaper is not without challenges and controversies. Some critics argue that the Reaper lowers the threshold for war, as it allows the use of lethal force, without risking the lives of pilots or ground troops. Some also question the legality and morality of using drones to kill people in countries where the U.S. is not officially at war, or without due process or oversight. Some also raise concerns about the civilian casualties and collateral damage caused by drone strikes, as well as the psychological impact on the drone operators and the target populations. Some also warn about the potential for cyber attacks or accidents that could compromise the drone's security or reliability. In conclusion, the MQ-9 Reaper is a remarkable weapon that has revolutionized modern warfare. It is a versatile and powerful platform that can perform a wide range of missions from ISR to PS. It is a force multiplier that enhances the capabilities and safety of other forces. It is also a controversial weapon that raises ethical and legal issues that need to be addressed. The Reaper is not only a flying menace, but also a flying marvel. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more great content. Thanks for watching.